Hey everyone, Arnaldo Offerman here with X Laser Mercury Video Manuals. Today I want to talk to you about the builders, what exactly they are, and how they work together. In your Mercury menu, you'll see options for the Master, Basic Builder, and Advanced Builder, but then it gives you one, two, three, and four. So let's talk about those individual options. First, let's take a look at this cluster of moving heads. There are six individual heads, and we're going to assume that the profile allows them to have individual control. Now, with each individual moving head, you can control the pan, tilt, color, gobo, gobo rotation, prism, prism rotation, and the XY limit, meaning how far that moving head can actually really turn around or what area it's going to cover. But now let's say that we take that entire cluster of moving heads, lop off that base and attach it to another moving head. So now what happens is you've got your individual heads sitting on a moving head. So you have your individual head control and you have your master control. So that individual head control would allow you to control the attributes of each moving head, your pan, tilt, color, gobo, gobo rotation, prism, prism rotation, pan and tilt limit. While the master control takes that entire fixture and you can do a pan, a tilt, you can control the speed of the pan and tilt or the limit. Let's change that terminology just a little bit. Now we're changing from individual head control to builders. Everything else, or at least the idea behind it, stays exactly the same. Let's break this down a little bit more and translate what it means to lasers. So here's a laser with four heads. Right, And each one of these heads is controlled by those builder fixtures. You have your builder one, which controls your first head, your builder two, which controls your second head, and builder three and four, which controls your third and fourth head respectively. Now we're going to change that term head because this isn't a moving head to aperture because it's a laser aperture. Each builder profile controls each one of these apertures individually. Well, now let's say we take this four aperture laser and attach it to that moving head. So now the master would control the overall functions of this laser as a whole, while the builders control the attributes of each individual aperture. However, this is a laser, not a moving fixture. The fixture itself doesn't move, but because it's a laser projector, it can pretty much simulate the lasers actually moving within the aperture's range. So now let's take that forehead laser and cram it inside one laser. For example, the Skyrider HPX. Now while the Skyrider HPX only has one aperture, with Mercury, we could have four builders in it so we can have four images or gobos being shown at the same time. So if you have your Skyrider HPX controlled by Mercury and you choose only one builder, then you're only going to be able to control one gobo or one pattern at a time. If you have two builders, you'll be able to control two individual images out of the same aperture at the same time. Mercury allows up to four builders, so you technically could have four individual gobos or images or patterns out of the same laser. With this in mind, when it's time to patch in your X Laser Mercury system into your DMX console of choice, you'll technically be patching in at least two individual fixtures, your master fixture and your builder fixture. Now, if you want to use four builders, then you would patch four or three, two, or just one. And then you have your master. But once you set the parameters for your master fixture, such as your X and Y location or X, Y limits, park those channels and control your builders individually. X Laser has made a basic builder and they've also made a very advanced builder. In the next video, we're going to talk about the master profile, what it is and what it does. And then we'll also talk about the individual builders. My name's Arnaldo Offerman of Gear It First. Thank you so much for watching yet another X Laser Mercury tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave them in the comments below. And most importantly, please make sure to subscribe to this channel, Geared First. You guys have a great evening and God bless.